Good day. My name is Jennifer Bourgeau, and I am the United States Country Coordinator for the GLOBE program. The United States GLOBE office, located at the University of New Hampshire Leitzel Center, coordinates the GLOBE Student Research Symposia each spring. This year, spring 2020, we were unable to hold the events. Instead, we are asking students who had carried out research and prepared research posters to upload them to the GLOBE website and participate in a peer review process. This short video talks a little more about the process. What is peer review? When professional scientists submit their work to a scientific journal, other scientists or peer reviewers read the article and provide feedback. This helps the editor decide whether or not to publish the research paper. This process can also happen when scientists present their work in posters or talks at professional conferences. Peer review is basically a way to double check a scientist's work. Did they use well-designed de methods? Did they back up their claims with evidence? Do they have good organization and clarity? You will be reviewing another student's research on the GLOBE website. Your job as a peer reviewer is to provide useful feedback to your peers. What should I write in my comments? Try to include a strength. An example would be, the strongest aspect of your project was your graphs. They were well done and data were presented clearly. Ask them a question about their project or one you have about their research, such as, how did you choose your study site? If you notice an area for improvement, you may want to point that out by commenting, next time you could collect data from a larger area for comparison. And finally, take note of the researcher's wow factor and comment on it. That may look like this. My favorite part of your project was the poster because it was well organized and clear. Take a look at this table of peer review examples. Which one gives the most helpful review? Here are the comments for poster number one. Hydrilifax, what caused the droughts? Present it better. Here are the comments for poster number two. Charts and tables are very clear. What was your sample size? Try bullet points instead of paragraphs to break up the space on the poster. And finally, poster number three. Good idea. Research methods? It was really good. Which set of feedback would help you to know how to improve your research and presentation for next time? If you pick the ones from poster number two, you are correct. This reviewer pointed out a strength of the project, something that might not have been clear, sample size, and something to improve the poster for next time. Now take a look at the other feedback again and think about how they might have changed that feedback. When you are reviewing someone's project, Think about engaging in questions and conversation. Is there anything you don't understand? Something that is really creative or well done? Give specific written comments. It would be neat to try the same measurements in the spring. Variables were not labeled on the graph. Be kind and respectful. Remember, your comments will be public. Be kind and respectful and provide feedback that will help them to improve their work in the future. Finally, think before you comment. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? We hope that you have fun reading and commenting on each other's research projects. STEM professionals will also be commenting, so make sure you check back over the next couple weeks to see what they have to say too.